Graduates don't hear back from jobs they applied for. Employers sometimes have thousands of resumes to look through. If you don't know how to follow up on jobs that you have applied for, you won't hear back from anyone. I'm Belinda Harris, and I'm an HR professional with over 15 years experience in the human resource field. Every day, I post videos to help job seekers like you make the best choices for themselves. I have a master's degree in human resource development and certifications by the Human Resource Certification Institute and Society of Human Resource Management. I am a speaker, a trainer, and a business owner, and I am here to help you secure your next employment opportunity. You may be thinking that employers who don't respond to your resume just aren't interested in you. And in most situations, that's not really the case. Looking for a job is a tough feat in any field. But good marketing can set you apart from other candidates if you know how to properly promote yourself. You might have better skills and knowledge than other candidates in your field. But unfortunately, if they have more effective marketing, they might have a better shot at the job. The system's not always fair, but if you play your cards right, you can end up landing any job that you want. Do your homework. You've been told that when you were in school. Do your homework. When you're looking for a job, be organized and prepared. Do your homework first. Determine the specific jobs that you'd like and whether or not you currently have the proper skill set to apply. In addition, do your research on the company where you're applying. Potential employers will be impressed with your knowledge of the company and know that you are serious about getting the job. Tweak your resume. Your resume is clearly vital when it comes to landing a job. It's a simple piece of paper that describes what you've done in order to prepare for the specific job that you are going after. So customize your resume to include items that are specific for the job which you're applying for. In fact, employers prefer that you keep it simple and on topic. So choose your keywords carefully. Automated searchers may make it more difficult for employers to find you if your background is less oriented to their keywords. So edit your resume to include widely used terms in your chosen field. Create or portfolio. You want to assemble work samples that will show an employer what you can contribute. Put together writing samples, videos, and other resources. Use your real name for your email. Make it easy for people to stay in touch by using your real name as your email. If your current email is Zanny or a nickname, you may want to get a new one when you're looking for a job. You also want to set up a professional voicemail greeting. Keep it simple, speak clearly, and give your full name. You want to make sure you optimize your LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn may be the most important social media tool for job hunters. So edit your headline. Start by writing a specific headline. Tell employers what value you add and make them want to learn more. Update your summary. Your summary is where you can add more details and showcase your achievements. 
provide statistics to describe your impact. Then you wanna choose your photo, pick an image that looks professional and clear, focus on your face and use flattering natural light. So welcome recruiters. Is your profile visual and visible to recruiters? Go into your privacy settings to be sure that you've opted to let them know that you want to hear from them. You'll need to reset this switch every few months if you're still looking. Be consistent. Your resume is usually written for a specific opening while your profile is a more general statement. Still, you want them to be similar enough to avoid causing any confusion. Gather recommendations and endorsements. Recruiters want to know what others say about you. Ask former employers and other contacts for recommendations. Use your endorsements to advertise skills that are in high demand. If you're generous about helping others, they'll more likely to return the favor to you. Network, network, and network some more. Reaching out to your contacts and meeting new people is one of the most successful ways to find a new position. Attend events related to your field and set a goal for meeting at least three contacts. Keep following up. I call it professional persistence. Not pestering or pushing, but call or email the company. Ask if the position has been filled or if they've started interviewing. Check your schedule. How many hours are you spending on your job search and, and follow up? If you aren't spending a lot of time on your job search and follow up, that may be the problem. Our 90 days to employment journal can help you with applying for jobs and keeping an employment search information organized and in one place. You want to be flexible. You might find more opportunities if you're willing to consider exploring maybe another field or moving to a different city. Remember, when you are looking for a job, to take care of yourself. The stress of being unemployed can lead to drowning your troubles in too much TV and junk food. So keep yourself strong by working out regularly, eating a balanced diet, and sticking to a consistent bedtime. If waiting to hear back from a company is causing you stress, Try these things. Continue looking. Waiting is easier when you have other options. So until you have a written job offer, you want to keep sending out applications and keep going on interviews. Increase your qualifications. You can also use any extra time to strengthen your skills and extend your network. Take certification courses, courses online, do volunteer work, move on. Unfortunately, some companies don't communicate well with job applicants. If your phone calls and emails are being ignored, it's probably time to focus your energies elsewhere. Seek balance. Job hunting can be stressful. So set aside time for other responsibilities and activities you enjoy. Take care of your physical and mental health. If this video brought you any value and you are wondering what to do next, first, subscribe to our channel. We post videos daily on topics such as this. Second, sign up for our newsletter for tips, templates, resources, 
and news as it relates to employment, productivity, confidence building, and time management. I'm Belinda Harris, and I'll see you at the next video. Hey, before you leave, I need you to subscribe. We need more rocket stars to land their dream job. Subscribe.